a lot of you guys asked for it, and here it is. Who really won? John Jones or Dominic Reyes, the most controversial fight of 2020. Most people believe that Dominic Reyes defeated John Jones, but the judges said otherwise. They thought John Jones won. Two judges gave the first two rounds to Dominic Reyes and the last three rounds to John Jones. One judge scored the fight. Everybody disagreed with this. Four rounds to John Jones, one round to Dominic Reyes. He only gave Dominic Reyes the very first round. Everybody knows Dominic Reyes won the first two rounds clearly. It wasn't even close. Everybody believes John Jones absolutely won the fifth round. Fourth round was pretty close, but the third round was the controversial round as Dominic Reyes started to slow down in the fight after an early explosion. Now we have to point out about the judging criteria. Damage trumps everything. Nothing is more important than damage. Take away octagon control and aggression. They pretty much do not exist. So we are going to look at every single strike that landed in the third round because no takedowns were successful. And more importantly, we're going to separate the shots by how damaging they were. And let's start with it, man. Both guys land really good leg kicks on each other. Afterward, Jones' front kick actually misses. In real time, it does look like it landed. Jones being active with the kicks, he's able to land a side kick to the rear leg of Dominic Reyes. It only touches the leg, and Reyes pursues John Jones with a high kick that actually lands around the guard. John Jones does not block the kick whatsoever. Already, we have the first heavy attack of the fight, and we're only 15 seconds in. Right afterward, Dominic Reyes was able to land a front kick to the body, later whiffing a left straight, and then following up with a good uppercut. You'll see this kind of sequence happen multiple times to Jones in this fight. Reyes lands a knee right afterward, a jab to the leg by Jones as Reyes misses his counter, Reyes then misses his lead uppercut as John Jones counters him with a very light jab. And then we go to the second heavy attack of the fight. Dominic Reyes lands a flush, full power body kick. This was a heavy strike. Later, Jones lands a side kick to the leg that pushes Reyes back. And afterward, Jones lands his hardest strike in the fight so far, a long right straight. And then Dominic Reyes returns with a left hook that gets around the guard and lands to the back of the head. We're going to count this as a medium attack due to Jones partially blocking it. Two leg kicks by Dominic Reyes. We're turned by a leg kick from John Jones. Reyes lands a body jab, and then they both exchange on each other. Jones lands a hard jab, and Reyes lands a right hook afterward. The reaction from the punches shows that John Jones seemed to have gotten damaged a little bit more than Reyes did. A long flush left straight to the body by Dominic Reyes. Reyes is really adding up on these body shots, and then Jones lands a hard side kick to the knee, attacking the knee again with an oblique kick. Reyes lands a leg kick of his own, and several seconds later follows us up with the hardest strike so far, and one of the hardest strikes of the entire fight. He lands a flush lush left uppercut dipping under John Jones snapping John Jones head up by far the hardest strike so far Reyes then lands another leg kick and then they both exchange light attacks on each other Reyes lands a body shot Jones lands his own body shot hammers the leg a couple times and then Reyes retaliates with a harder elbow to the temple that seems to get a reaction out of Jones. Reyes then whips a left hand to the body and then goes over the top with another left hand. There's a clear difference in damage going on here between the two fighters. And we're two thirds done with the fight. Afterward, Jones lands a slight back fist to the face. Reyes whips another left hand around the guard. Then Jones checks a leg kick that seems to do more damage to Dominic Reyes. Jones lands a jab and then a skidding left hook that would have done a lot more damage if he landed it flush. Then Dominic Reyes was able to slip the punch and counter John Jones with another devastating body shot, left uppercut to the body and gets a big reaction out of John Jones. Reyes then later runs into a jab. I'll count this as a medium attack. The jab itself wouldn't be that powerful, but the fact that he ran into it so hard definitely magnifies the damage. Then Reyes lands a left hand flush on John Jones, the damage would have been a little bit harder if he didn't pump first before he threw it. There wasn't a lot of leverage and momentum in the punch. That's why the damage was decreased a bit. You can count this as a heavy attack, but I'm going to count it as a medium attack just to go bare minimum with everything. But ultimately, at the end, I don't think it's going to matter that much. Jones lands a slight leg kick, followed up by a big left hand to the jaw of Dominic Reyes. And then Reyes intercepts John Jones with a lead right hook. The reason why I'm counting this as a light attack is because he bent his wrist and almost hit with the back of his hand and did not slow John Jones at all. It did not give any good reaction out of Jones, but ultimately that was the last strike of the fight. So tallying up the strikes, Dominic Reyes barely landed more strikes, 23 to 20, but there's a huge gap in damaging shots. Almost all of John Jones' attacks were light attacks, whereas the majority of Dominic Reyes's caused some sort of damage, doubling the heavy strikes from John Jones and quintupling the medium attacks from John Jones. So in conclusion, was this fight a robbery? 
Yes, this was a robbery. Just off of this, we don't have to look at the fourth round. Just off of this, Dominic Reyes clearly won the first three rounds without even have to go any further in the fight. It wasn't a landslide or a one-sided fight, but there was a clear victor at UFC 247. And the light heavyweight champion deserved to be Dominic Reyes. John Jones should have been beaten the first time in his career. And we're not even looking at the Gustafson fight. If you guys want me to look back in that one and break down the controversial rounds of that fight, I can absolutely do that as well. But Dominic Reyes should have been the champion after UFC 247. John Jones should have gotten an intermediate rematch. Whatever would have happened in that fight would have happened. And ultimately, what we see today in the light heavyweight division probably would not have happened the way it did. A week after this fight, Jan Blachowicz beat Corey Anderson, and off of that, he got a title shot against Dominic Reyes. With a Reyes vs. Jones rematch happening, that means Jan Blachowicz would have to fight someone else. Jan Blachowicz was number 4 in the light heavyweight division, number 3 was Anthony Smith, number 2 was Thiago Santos. Glover Teixeira, a month later, defeated Anthony Smith, which would mean that we would have saw Jan Blachowicz vs. Glover Teixeira as a non-title fight in order to determine who would be next in line for a title shot. That means the fight that we're getting now with the light heavyweight championship would have happened prior. And we would have seen Jan Blachowicz or Glover Teixeira knock the other guy out and fight either Dominic Reyes or John Jones for the light heavyweight title. If Jones would have vacated after he beats Dominic Reyes in a rematch, that means the winner of Jan Blachowicz versus Glover Teixeira would have to probably fight for the vacant belt against Thiago Santos. What do we know? Glover beat Thiago Santos later that year, but Jan Blachowicz never got his rematch. And this does not give Israel Adesanya potentially the opportunity to jump up to 205 at the time that he did, which means that he would have fought someone else at middleweight because we still needed to find out who the light heavyweight champion was going to be. There was a possibility that Adesanya would have went up to 205 and fought for the vacant belt, but with him being Paulo Costa, the next guy up in line in the middleweight division would be the winner of Jared Cannonier versus Robert Whitaker. Whitaker beats Cannonier, so Whitaker, no matter what, was the number one contender for the middleweight title. Either Adesanya waits to see what happens at light heavyweight, or he takes on Robert Whittaker in the meantime, and then fights for the light heavyweight title afterward, if he were to beat Whittaker in a rematch. So history rewritten would have been very interesting if things played out the way they were supposed to play out. If Dominic Reyes wasn't robbed against John Jones, a lot of things would have been very, very different, man, and we probably wouldn't even get the John Jones heavyweight negotiations. So I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. If you did, make sure to a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my content, make sure to subscribe. If you guys want me to do other videos like this, whether it be GSP versus Johnny Hendricks, Gustafson versus John Jones, Joanna versus Zhang Wei Li, Nunez versus Shevchenko 2, whatever the fight is, leave it in the comments below. I'll be sure to check those out, and I'll see you guys in the next video.